We are back at it again, another Nike outlet hunting video. But before we get into that, I'm gonna go ahead and go into a Goodwill. I know it's been a while since I went thrifting, but uh, this morning I did, I did decide to switch it up a little bit, and plus I still have about another hour to kill. So we're gonna go ahead and go into one of my preferred Goodwills, see if uh, we find any flips. And honestly, I'm just looking for stuff for me, but uh, if we can find stuff to flip, cool. Got that Pro Line Dallas Cowboy jacket. I think I had that back in '97. Does this have the hood though? No, yeah, mine had the hood. Looks like this one's missing the hood. You see that zipper back there? But that's under auction, so that was kind of close here. So we found some Air Maxes right here, $9.99. I'm actually keeping these for me. Uh, these go online for about $60. So there is a little scuffing, it's not too bad. And then we've got some Harachas here, $7.99. Not too many comps. I'm still debating whether or not I want to pick these up. And then we got these cool runners right here. Um, but at $9.99, they usually try to stand there five uh, for the runners. All right, so upon further in inspection of the harachas, I did not end up picking them up around the, uh, I guess, felt area. There was a little bit of creasing, a little bit of a dry rot on the shoes, as well as the toe box. There was some areas where it was going to be pretty tough to clean them. Uh, but e even at $7.99, if you're willing to put in the work, that, that was a great pickup. I decided to leave them behind because I'm just trying to uh, be a little bit more uh, persistent as well as uh, uh, streamline the business. So uh, I did end up picking up the Air Maxes for myself. I think these were $9.99? Yeah, $9.99. Uh, these resell for about 60 bucks on eBay. Uh, for the most part, they just need to be cleaned up. Grip was in really good shape. And uh, I used to have a pair similar to these. I think they were the uh, Lance Armstrong ones, uh, gray and green colorway. Uh, I sold those a while back, I just never used them. But I'm really glad I found these. I remember I wanted them back in the day. But uh, let's go ahead and go to the outlets and uh, continue on. We are with the Jordan fadeaways still at 59.97. And it looks like we got a 20% back wall this week. Jordan KO 23s. So, and for the most part, I don't think these were here last time. Jordan TE two lows, retail of 110. It's not a bad deal. Big funds, pretty casual shoe. And these are still here. I'm gonna wait for these to go on sale. And we have Jordan fadeaways again. And it looks like they have the entire set here black again i don't think these were here last time the jumpman quick 23s 125 100 bucks probably wait for these to go on sale as well as jumpman quick twos so and then of course the legacy series is still here i think we saw some legacies at the goodwill right comment down below if you knew which uh jordans those were at the uh goodwill but yeah so High double straps and these are uh, good solid colorway that big old Nike air tag it's pretty cool so retros Kyrie fives Kobe one protos 99 that's not a bad deal if you need some uh, protos retail 175 and then you got the LeBron's 12 64.97 it's a good red then you got them in the black and gray as well as the black and white 59.97 wow that's pretty it's a pretty good price the witnesses as well as the air force maxes retail of 160 
the uh, Air Max 270 N7s. I think they had the Cortez's last week. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Oh, they got them in black too. They're zoomed down. So now these are more my style right here. It's a clean shoe. I like it. I'm digging it. The Air Max 90s. Don't know about that colorway. And then, of course, the uh, I think the OGs. I don't think these were here last week. So that's a good shoe. And TNs as well. And then these were definitely here last week. Not a bad colorway, but it looks kind of old school, right? Like a 90s shoe. I guess that's why it's called Plus OG, huh? You got the dingy Air Maxes. And the women's, we still got the Cortez and 7s right here, as well as Air Max 97s. Pretty much the same thing. I do not think these were here last time. I could be mistaken. Two uh, 720s. Uh, it looks like they're asking retail for those. And then just the lower end Air Maxes, the Tavis, as well as the Axis are down here again. So nothing too new. And I'm not going to give <laughs> Nacho Average Funds a shout out. For the women's Air Jordan 4 Retros, I think these are new here, $99.99, that's not a bad deal. I guess the legacy is up and coming right here. And then the uh, Jordan Jumpman Team 2 is $39.97, that's a pretty good deal right there. Retail of $110. Doing a little back wall boogie right here. Still 20% off. And for those of y'all who are not familiar, yellow stickers means that they're bigger sizes. Women's stuff I tend to not really mess with it unless it's a size 10, but the guy stuff, some stores have them as low as 13 as their bigger sizes. So keep out of, on a lookout for that. And it looks like these retros finally made it to the back wall. The hot punches, I think those were there last week. As well as I did believe I saw some other retros here. Here we go. Yeah, these are finally back wall as well. So 139 with 20% off. I think the uh, hot punches were 79, so that's not bad, 20% off. Retail of 110, so not really interested in picking those up. But good deal for anybody uh, looking out there to collect them. And of course, the men's back wall boogie, here we go. I think these were the uh, Hyper Dunks, 39.97. Not really a bad deal. And not too much going on. I did pick up some things, but I'll show you guys. Oh, we finally got these blue ones back here. I gotta look for my size. 149 though with 20% off. And we got these Air Max 270s, 59.97 with 20% off. Retail, I think of 190, I believe. Yeah, so this this is a good deal right here. I'm probably gonna pick up a few. And as well as I did want to pick up a bunch of these Janowski's at 29.97 with 20% off. But it looks like we got some glue bleeding around the areas. So you guys got to make sure that you look out for that. It's the last thing you want to do. Pick up a bunch of bad shoes and then have to return them. And then random Air Max 95 OGs, 49.97, but in the size 5.5. So that's a, that's a little kid size, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and keep looking. So we came out of there with about 25 pairs. Came out to roughly 9.89. I'm not sure if the camera's catching that, but uh, a lot of quality fl uh, flips this time around. 270s, Air Force Ones, uh, Nike TNs. So I was kind of shocked and uh, I was going to go to another outlet. I might just call it a day. I know uh, Bonafide Hustlers having a uh, green room meetup with other local resellers here in the Austin area. So I'm just going to go home. Uh, and probably get ready for that and there was a few uh, local hustlers in there But at the end of the day, there's plenty to go around. I think there's probably two other guys in there There were local flippers who uh, buy the inventory here in flip in Mexico and uh, we all got 20 30 pairs each So there's plenty to go around. Yeah, it's competition But at the end of the day, you know if you go consistently enough You'll realize that there is really a lot to go around So here we are 25 pairs total and another volume deal, except this time around, it was a little bit more quality. Uh, unlike last week, it was more about quantity. So we have the Air Force One Utilities, uh, $39.97 with 20% off. Air Max 270s, $59.97, 20% uh, off, retail of $170. The Air Force One Utilities, retail of $145. Then lastly, the Air Max Plus NN GPX, 
$49.97, retail of $175. So there you have it, and uh, speak of the devil, I was mentioning these in the last video uh, about saying I missed the back wall drop. So I believe if they have like 20 left in the aisle, they go ahead and mark them down and toss them in the back. Don't quote me on that number, but it's around there somewhere. So I'm just kind of glad I ran into these, and uh, this weekend was definitely more quality. I am going to price these competitively, but I'm going to try to maximize the, uh, the returns on these. And uh, none in my size, but we did pick up those Air Maxes at the Goodwill, so I was pretty pumped for that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these listed here shortly. And as well, I was surprised I found these at a reasonable price. They got the uh, that snake skin. I'm not too sure if I got these on camera in any of my videos, but I did see them for a while, and I guess they got to the point where uh, they were able to back wall them. So, and they're actually pretty cool. Uh, none in my size, unfortunately. Have that dreaded nine and a half, such a basic guy size, so never find anything. Alright guys, that's all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. And hit that notification bell to be alerted on my next Nike Outlet Hunt video. And I try to say that really fast, it came out weird. Nike Outlet Hunt video, Nike Outlet Hunt, no, I can't even say that that fast. Nike Outlet Hunt video, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.